After strong public reaction to proposed changes to Kelowna's busking bylaws, Mayor Colin Bazran spoke about the issue Tuesday. So it's needed because right now we have a voluntary uh, licensing program in place and to make the rules um, clearer and to um, reduce ambiguity, we felt it was important to put the licensing program right into the bylaw. Uh, that way it'll be more definitive and, and people will know that uh, it's required to use one. Uh, I'd also keep in mind that um, there are many municipalities right across Canada who ask for uh, buskers to have a permit or a special identification uh, in order to uh, identify themselves when performing. And so we're just following along with the best, practice, best practices that other municipalities across Canada uh, have been utilizing for quite some time. So we will uh, be um, working with the Festivals Kelowna, um, the Downtown Kelowna Association and local artists on uh, best practices and how we can really make this an awesome busking program. Because at the end of the day, we want this to be an amazing busking program where we have high quality entertainment in our downtown core, we'll just, which will just be another awesome reason to visit our downtown and, uh, or other parts of our community. Um, and so that will, uh, that will actually take place before the bylaw is implemented. As with anything, uh, no matter what we do, we will always be criticized as not having uh, enough broad consultation in our community. Um, and, and that's just one of the things that local governments have to deal with. Um, but I can tell you that uh, in, in regards to the busking aspect, it's going to be an awesome program because it will have input from the community, particularly the artists who will be involved in providing the entertainment. Because I know that one of the concerns is that um, this is going to limit busking in our community. Um, but as a result of the consultation, we could actually have more busking stops downtown um, than we currently do now. So there are no limitations anywhere else in the city other than downtown, just given the fact that downtown is a very busy place. And we want to make sure that uh, we have a balance between um, the various um, vendors, shop owners, people visiting, uh, the number of activities that take place downtown, um, that there's a balance between all of those things. So um, we're just trying to strike a balance between the, the many needs of our community. But we aren't sending bylaw out to, to ticket people um, or, you know, we, we don't, we're not a no fun city. We actually, uh, our bylaw people really try to come to compliance with somebody they're dealing with a complaint on than just issuing a ticket. And we want more artistic vibrancy in our community. So I don't think that we would max out the licenses um, because we know too that not every busker is going to be out uh, every single day. For Mayor Bazarin's full comments, check out the video in Castanet's story. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net.